Hey, did you know there's a special kind of vehicle that can hover in the air above water and land? Yes, you guessed it right. And we can make our own today. A balloon hovercraft. Let's go. Here's what we need. A balloon, an old CD or DVD, a bottle cap which looks like this, a sharp pin and some strong glue. Either super glue or hot glue. A clothes pin is optional. Take the bottle cap and poke some holes in it with the help of an adult. And now we attach the cap to the middle of the CD using a strong glue. Make sure to take an adult's help for this as well. Now we just have to inflate the balloon and attach it to the top of the cap. You can use a clothes pin to seal the mouth of the balloon so that the air doesn't escape it or you can just twist it so it's temporarily closed till you secure it to the cap. Now let's secure it to the cap. And our hovercraft is ready. Let's try it out. Let me push the hovercraft a little to get it started. Whoa! It's floating around so freely. But how? If we just push a CD alone on a table, it stops after moving a small distance. That's because of friction between the CD and the table. And what causes it? When we look at them microscopically, these two actually have rough, irregular surfaces. The irregularities on both the surfaces interlock with each other and slow down the motion. So, what happens on attaching the inflated balloon? The air from the balloon escapes slowly and forms a layer between the CD and the table. Now, these two surfaces are not touching each other anymore. So, there is no friction arising from their interlocking irregularities. Does it mean there's zero friction now? Well, not exactly. There's air between the two surfaces, which means there's still some friction, but it's much less compared to the case where the CD slides over the table surface directly. This is exactly like air hockey, where the puck moves over the table almost frictionlessly because of the layer of air between the two surfaces and preventing direct contact. Oh look, the CD is kind of hovering on the table instead of sliding on it. So that's why we are calling this a hovercraft. Mm, do you think this method would help in reducing friction between a hovercraft and water surface as well? Let us know in the comments. Share your creations with us using the Google form link in the description. For more such fun science projects, Stay tuned to our channel.